Hello and welcome to Professor Pincushion. In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to take your existing pants pattern and make adjustments to either shorten the crotch length or extend the crotch length using the slide technique. Hopefully this will help you get better fitting pants. So let's go ahead and get started. Here are some of the supplies I'm going to be using in order to make my alterations. So I have my pattern pieces, both the pants front and pants back. Some tracing paper. If you don't have tracing paper, you can use tissue paper. Also, I have some paper scissors, a ruler of some kind, a black and red marker. I'm going to be using a large piece of cardboard to pin. I'm going to be using straight pins to pin my pieces to. But if you don't have that, you can also use some tape and my flexible tape measure. Let's say you went ahead and you made a muslin of your pants pattern and you noticed that just something isn't right with the crotch length. Now it can either be too big or too small. Now if it's too small, usually what you're going to have is horizontal wrinkles and the fabric is pulling in the crotch length area. If it's too big, the crotch may be sagging. When you sit down, you'll notice there's just a lot of extra fabric between the waistline and the crotch. Now while you still have your pants on, make note of where it sits on your body. So you want to make sure that it's at the correct spot where it's going to sit on your body and then put a string or a piece of elastic and just tie it around that area. A lot of pants these days, they either sit at the high hip or just above the high hip. They don't really go up to the natural waistline anymore. So once you have that, go ahead and take off your pants, put on something more comfortable. We just need to make sure we don't have this, all this extra fabric that we're going to be measuring because we need to determine what our actual crotch length is of our body. You're going to grab a flexible tape measure and you're going to start where that string is across your body. You're going to go across your behind, then through your legs. So you're going between your legs and then going up to the top of the string, marking the top of the pants. That is going to be your actual crotch length. And then we're going to take this measurement and we're going to compare it to our pattern piece. So you want to make sure that your tape measure is comfortable, it's not too tight, it's not too loose. We're not adding any ease to it. We're just taking our actual measurement and then comparing that to our pattern pieces. The first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take both my front and back pattern pieces of the pants and I'm gonna mark off where the seam allowance is for the crotch area. So this is my crotch curve and this is the end seam, so the inside leg seam. And you don't have to do the whole thing. I'm just basically going to focus in this area here. So I'm going to grab my ruler and I'm just going to mark this with a red pen. And I'm going to put it whatever my seam allowance is. So for this pattern, it's 5 eighths of an inch. So that's what I have my ruler at. And I'm just going to mark along this area. So that way I know where it is. And then I'm going to do the same thing going in this direction. So I can see where these two ends or two lines will intersect. Now I've already done that with my other pattern piece. So you'll be able to see what that looks like. So let me flip it over so we can look at the right side. So here you can clearly see a line, 5 eighths line marked this way and then mark this way. So this is going to be important because we're going to put these two pieces together and we want to make sure that we can overlap the seam allowance so we're not counting that when we take our measurement. Next I'm going to bring my back and front together and I'm going to bring them together for the crotch length. So we have one smooth crotch curve right here and you'll notice they're overlapping in the middle. What I'm doing is overlapping. We had this inner leg seam line that we drew with the red line. You can see it right here, and then you can see a little bit right here. And I'm going to have those lines be right on top of each other. So the overlapping section is uh, about an inch and a quarter for me because I have 5 eighths and then 5 eighths. And we're trying to get rid of the seam allowance. So we're only measuring the actual seam line and not any seam allowance. So I went ahead after I did that and I have everything pinned and taped down and I extended the seam line curve all the way up to the top of the front and the back minus whatever my seam allowance is at the top of my pants, which again is 5 eighths of an inch on both sides. Once I have that, I'm going to grab my tape measure and I'm just measuring the red line, not this edge of the pattern because again, that's with seam allowance. So I'm going to place my tape measure on its side. If it's easier for you, go ahead and do it this way. And I'm just going to measure a little bit, 
hold it, measure a little bit and hold it until I get to the top of this line. And then that's going to be the crotch length for the actual pattern piece. Let's say my actual crotch length is 23 inches, but on the pattern, it's 21 inches. So that's a difference of two inches that I need to extend my pattern. Now the opposite could be true. Maybe my actual crotch length is 19 inches. So this is two inches too big. So I need to shorten it by two inches. So regardless of what it is, we're gonna kind of be doing the same thing. Either we're making our crotch length longer or we're making it shorter, but the process is essentially the same. Now, depending on your body type, what you can do is just take whatever your measurement difference is, so mine is two inches, and divide it evenly between the front pattern and the back pattern. Because remember, we have pants back and we have pants front. So maybe I'm extending the front by one inch and the back by one inch. So these two together equal my two inches that I need to change. Another thing that you can do is if you say to yourself, well, I have a little bit of a tummy, so maybe I wanna take the majority of this measurement and affect just the front, or maybe do most of the front and a little bit of the back. Or if I have more of a back end, maybe I'm gonna designate more of this measurement to the back. It's always a good idea to then do a muslin after you make your adjustments, so you make sure you're happy with the adjustments you're making. But I'm gonna go ahead and stick with this, so I'm going to be either adding or subtracting an inch, because we're gonna show you both ways. I'm gonna show you how to extend and then how to shorten. To prep the pattern pieces, both for the front and the back, what I'm gonna do is extend my grain line to the top and bottom of my pattern. So you see this line right here? This is the grain line arrow. I'm just gonna use my ruler and just draw a line, extending it to both ends. Go ahead and lay tracing paper over your pattern piece. It doesn't have to extend all the way to the bottom of the pants, but I at least like to do the majority of it. I'm gonna go ahead and pin everything into place. It's on top of my cardboard here. Then I'm gonna use my black marker and I'm gonna trace an outline of my pattern piece. So it's gonna be an exact copy. Also, I wanna transfer my grain line. You can go ahead and do that in black. So my grain line that I just drew, I'm gonna go ahead and make sure that's on my copy. Any details that I have over in this area, I'm gonna go ahead and transfer those as well. So any marks, any lines that are important for pattern making, I'm gonna go ahead and make a copy of that. The first example I'm gonna show you is what to do if you want to extend the crotch length so you're making it larger. So from this crotch curve, and I'm just showing you on the front, but if you're doing the back, you would do the exact same thing. From this top here, I'm gonna measure down whatever my measurement is that I'm extending by. So I'm doing one inch. So I'm using my red marker here, just to mark on there, my one inch mark. I'm going to grab my pattern, because it's no longer underneath my tracing paper now. And now the top of this pattern is gonna go to my one inch mark right here. And I'm gonna line everything up, and by that I mean I'm gonna line up my grain line. So if I go like this, this grain line is not matching up with my grain line on my tracing paper. And you can also see up here too. So once this is lined up, go ahead and pin it into place because we don't want it to shift. And you can see my original crotch line it was right here, but now I've dropped it down by an inch, so now it's down here. So I'm gonna use my red marker, and right where it starts to deviate from my original line, I'm gonna use my red marker, and I'm gonna trace along here, and then trace along here until it meets back in line with my black line for the inner leg seam here. Here you can see an example of my red line. So it definitely comes out a little bit further in this area and it's definitely further down. And then my red line kind of blends back into my black line. So the only area that's affected 
is this area over in this section. I didn't do anything else to the rest of my copy. So once you've got to this point, and I didn't extend or copy any of my new marks, I'm just doing the outer edge of the line here. I'm gonna take my pattern, I'm gonna put it back to its original black line. Grab my straight pins. For now, I'm just gonna pin this section up here. And you could start taping it to your tracing paper if you want. Now, obviously, I don't want this part to get in the way. If you don't really wanna cut it off, just fold it back so it's out of the way. And I could pin that as well, or tape it, whatever you wanna do. And I still have my original marks from when I first did my copy, because those are gonna stay the same. So now my new pattern, I'm gonna fall along the black line, now I'm gonna go along my red dash line and down the red dash line here until I get to the black. So this part up here is gonna be cut off. It's no longer our pattern because now we have a new pattern. So this is what you would do if you need to extend the crotch length. To shorten the crotch length, we're gonna be doing just the opposite. So instead of from here measuring down this way, we're gonna measure up. So I'm just gonna grab my ruler here, and I'm gonna go one inch up, make a mark. Then I'm gonna grab my pattern again. I'm gonna line it up with the top of my mark now. And again, I'm gonna line up my grain line. That's the most important part. So once it's lined up, pin it in place so it doesn't move on us. A couple pins should hold it. Then I'm gonna grab my red marker again. And this time, I'm not drawing up here again. I'm still drawing down here where it deviates from my original line, so about right here. Here, and then again, I'm gonna draw here until it blends back in with my original line. All right, so now you can see an example of my red line making this adjustment. And again, I didn't extend up here. Otherwise, you're just making the crotch length the same exact length that was before. So once you went ahead and did your outline, again, you're going to move this back to its original position. Gonna pin it. in the place. And if you want, you can go ahead and pin this area out of the way. So your new line is now blending out from the black line up here, going along the red line, going along this red line. So this part of the black line is probably going to be cut off. I would cut it off and then here. Now this kind of runs into my notch. So if I want to, I can just extend my notch so it shows up a little bit more on once the black line is cut off. But then it blends back into my black line. So you can go ahead, tape your original pattern to the tissue paper. That way you don't have to transfer all your marks. You can keep them as they are, and the only thing that changes is in this area over here. So that's all there is to it. New tutorials are released weekly, so please subscribe to be notified of the next release. Make sure to check out our other videos and visit ProfessorPincushion.com to view our complete library with well over 200 sewing video tutorials, including our exclusive premium content. Our premium membership is only $5 a month for unlimited access and only available at ProfessorPincushion.com. Also, don't forget to download our mobile app for videos on the go. Thanks for watching.